what's up guys and welcome back to another grim soul video and on this uh, video i'm going to show you how to complete the stable and team the horse and as you may already know completing the stable and teaming the horse in grim soul is one of the most difficult and hardest goal to complete so yeah so the first thing what I'm gonna uh, show you is uh, how and where to get every single item what you need for the stable to complete it. So let's start with the bags. You can grab them from your craft menu or um, find them on AI bodies from school 1 zone, school 2 zones and school 3 zones. And the second things are these items, you can find them on school zones, events, AI bases and dungeon. But the best place to look for those items as a beginner is a school 2 zone. The next one is the saddle, you can get it from school 3 zone chest, night cash, um, AIs have a low chance to drop it and also gatekeeper from AI bases, but the chance is uh, low and also from level 1, level 2 and level 3 forsaken dungeon the next uh, item is the feeding through that's a unique item and you can only get it from the forsaken dungeon from level 1 and level 2 and level 3 dungeon and you can also get it from the free box what you, you can watch ahead and then get a item but the chance to get it from there is uh, very low and uh, the final item for the stable, what you need is the bridle, that is the most hardest uh, item to get. And uh, you can only get it from level 2 dungeon and level 3. But uh, if you don't know, uh, the level 2 dungeon is uh, locked. And you need to uh, complete the torture chair and catch the hermit to unlock the level 2 dungeon and level 3. And also you can get the bridle from the free box, like I said, for the feeding through, but the chance to get it from there is even more low th than the feeding through item. And then after completing the stable, you need to team the horse from the broken cart event, so it may take you a while to get it uh, from there. And also if you don't know, the horse uh, run away, so yeah, that's uh, why it may take you a while to catch the horse from the broken cart and also if you don't know you get uh, about uh, four to five in events in total on a day and the broken cart you get it uh, two times on a day so if you are trying to only spawn the broken cart try to not uh, play the game on night time cause the uh, night at the cemetery spawn on night time so then you'll not uh, spawn that event and you'll have more chance to spawn the broken cart and also when you are to the broken cart, uh, try to clear everything around the horse, not all enemies but everything uh, what is around the horse. And then try to wait for a spawn cause if you are trying to team the horse and get stopped uh, by a spawn, by an enemy who has spawn, the horse will run away and you won't gonna be able to team it. So just wait for an enemy to spawn, then uh, go instantly and team the horse. And also when you team the horse you're gonna be able to name him and if you don't know when you travel in zones with the horse you, the horse get experience and he level up but uh, if you leave uh, the horse in a zone and leave the zone without him he will uh, get to, the, to your base and he will get hungry and also he won't get any experience so do not leave the horse on a zone when you travel with him. So yeah, that's all about this video guys, hope you enjoyed and also please don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe and also join my discord, the link is on the description. So goodbye and see you next time. Peace out.